You've heard of the deer in headlights? This is, um, headlights in the deer. Zombie roadkill is a series where animals get their revenge on humans. We knew we were going to need a really talented creature effects crew. And Ghost House had a good relationship with Quantum. We first met Quantum on Spider-Man 2. Uh, they did all the puppeteering for the Doc Ock arms. My name is Christian Beckman. I'm the owner of Quantum Creation FX. And we're the company that brought all these pesky little fun puppets for zombie roadkill. I didn't want to use any digital creatures at all. Um, if anything, we would just use practical creatures that um, were all hand puppets. And Christian was totally on board with that. We got a lot of, you know, uh, enthusiastic people over here, and we'll go ahead and take it on. You think you can just crack up and start laughing? You know, that's like a puppet. I feel like I'm three years old in preschool or something, but. Uh, you know, it's turned out to be a really great experience. Frank Langley, who's worked on Team America and Spider-Man 2, we joke that Frank is like uh, Geppetto, but evil. So in the moment when he's eating the, the ambulance driver's head, that gives us a lot of movement. And Tom Baccio is a fantastic creature and gore effects expert. You need a severed arm, you call Tom, usually he'll pull one out of his back pocket. This is the hand that's actually um, attached to the shotgun, um, and it gets kind of flung off. <laughs> oh, the puppets are so freaky looking. Just the idea that this was a living being not too long ago really creeped me out. They have feet and they have claws and they have teeth. Yeah, they were they were real. That made me a little queasy to see. In the movie, there's multiple animals that are zombies. There's a squirrel. Yeah, we had four different versions of the squirrel. But each one had a different use. He's sitting on the, the hood of the car. Dead squirrel when he's laying on the ground. It's our flying squirrel because he's just tossing the air. And that is our squirrel can. It's like squirrel point of view shot. We had to build skunks. We also had a possum. This guy is trying to get into the sunroof of a SUV. So as it's closing, we had to design it so that the head could come off, but still be functional. Shut it! Get this! Get this! Push it! The roadkill bunny as he first comes out of the ground. And then he gets torched by the Tom Hayden Church character. And then this is the bunny later after he's been torched. The most challenging of the build was the deer, the deer zombie. It's huge and it's got uh, some animatronic movement. I shot the deer uh, when I was 15 years old in the woods in Mississippi and put it in the attic where it sat for 15 years. They were like, we need to put together deer, and deer like heads are really expensive. And I was like, I have a deer head if you want it, you know? <laughs> and so they shipped it out, uh, out here and uh, added it to this giant dog body that they had. <laughs> we expected this was gonna be a tough road with the time frame and so forth but it actually turned out even better than we even thought. They were very fun to work with. We'd actually hang out after set, and, you know, we're planning to go snowboarding soon, me and the squirrel anyway. I know, ridiculous, right? All in the name of art. 